who's here? Who is that? Who is that? Mama, who is that? Mama. Oh, she's peeing everywhere. Mama, who is that? Baby. Oh. Mama, who is that? Is Daddy home? Yeah, she peed everywhere. <laughs> Oh, BB. Oh. She's so happy. Oh, Mama. Your daddy's home. Don't pee on me. Oh. She's so happy. Did you go clothes shopping already? All right, guys, we just got home from the airport. I'm surprising my mom from a month, home from, a month off from the army. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Get out of the car. Go, go, go. Yeah, you get out of the car. Go, go, go. Follow me. Gotcha. <laughs> Tears of joy. <laughs> Laugh. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> running. Cameron running? They all are. What'd you get? What the hell? <laughs> Didn't you want to go back to Tiffany's? It's got all the markings of a birthday party for a boy turning six, but with a twist. I kind of thought maybe I would just walk in through the back doors or something and be like, hey, I'm here. Yeah. But she was like, no, 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 we're, we're, we're going to do the present thing. Gary Kirby's mission in Afghanistan was clearing explosives. First home front assignment, getting himself gift wrapped. An army guy. <laughs> Derek, the birthday boy, was told the cameras came to make a video of his party to send to his dad. Does that look awesome? Should we open that one first? Yeah. I want to see the kindergartner took the bait and tore in to the mystery box. He was like, whoa, wait a minute. Not what I was expecting, yeah. No. That was totally worth it. He came springing out of the box. Daddy in the box. As for dad, he came home to his own little present, a baby boy named Darley. John Croman, Care 11 News. ¿Dónde está Diego? ¿Dónde está Diego? ¿Dónde está Diego? ¿Dónde está Diego? ¿Qué es esto tan grande? Aquí está almohada tan grande. Y esta almohada tan grande.
I'm Navy Lieutenant Heather Goitley. I just returned from Kandahar, Afghanistan, and I'm here to surprise my sister at her college graduation. I would like to introduce Elizabeth Golightly. Elizabeth is graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Social Science, and she will be leading our Pledge of Allegiance this evening. Before she begins, I would like to share a message which I received last week from her sister, an FSU alumna, Navy Lieutenant Heather Golightly, who is currently stationed in Afghanistan. I quote from her letter. Dear Elizabeth, first and foremost, I want to thank you for your constant love and support from the day I earned my commission five years ago until now as I serve in Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Although I missed your high school graduation because I was deployed in the Pacific, there hasn't been a day when I was out to sea or even now in the desert that I haven't thought about you. You followed in my footsteps, attending one of the most prestigious universities in the country. Be proud to be a Seminole. I know that I am. Go Knowles. Today marks the beginning of the rest of your life, and I'm absolutely thrilled to have the, priv have the privilege to be here to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me. Please stand and join me in proudly welcoming home one of our own Navy Lieutenant Heather Go Lightly. I thought she was still in the desert because <laughs> I, I talked to her yesterday and she was telling me how much she was upset that she couldn't be here. So I am so glad that she is here. <laughs> I'm so glad I could be here. I don't want to say too much. I'll start bawling, but I've been planning this for months. I completed my mission two months early so I could be here to be at your college graduation since I missed your high school. I'm so glad to get started. So I have invited a special guest that I've been told knows this song to get it started. So if, if this guest gets it started, if you've ever heard it before, I guess maybe you can jump in and join us. Everybody get real quiet.
You just took a picture, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's recording. Oh. How do you feel about surprising your family? I am really excited. They can't really see you, but they can you. That's okay. We're almost there. We're pulling in. It's gonna be awesome. We're kind of going the back way. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say? I love my family. And I love you. <laughs> love you too. Ladies and gentlemen. No way! Oh you are such a snob! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh, we were just talking about you! That is too funny! Did you guys know her? No. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> How did you get here? <laughs> I mean, duh. Well, that's why she I picked him up. in town. Was to pick him up in the airport or something. We were just talking, oh. she just made him a Valentine's! <laughs> well, then you can go give it to me! They're so sweet! She's like, Are you home for the weekend? Yeah. Just the weekend? Yeah. Oh. Katie knew, except the. Oh. I did. I didn't know. I actually suspected you were coming early. <laughs> no! I just figured it out. You. Hi! Chris is like, Why is Dad always over by the door? Dad, did you oh, know? This is what he was doing two seconds ago! Standing there like this, bopping the ball. Like, no, what is he no, doing? Dad always does that. No, he's like, I can't believe it's snowing so much. It's snowing. It's actually snowing in Michigan. I'm like, Dad, it's snow. And he's like, but it hasn't snowed all winter. What a sweet surprise. Yeah, we already went to Starbucks and said hi to everybody. Oh, I know you. Y'all went to the mall. We, we got, we, my Which mall did you go to? No, you all went to the mall. Oh, right. My flight was supposed to get in at 11, I mean, 11.50. Uh, yeah, why did it come early? Because I, I had a refundable ticket. I mean, I, oh. they was doing How'd you get a refundable ticket? Oh, I wasn't sure. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah.